Illustrator to make multiple social media and web assets. This is a normal, just regular web asset that scrolls across the website. It is, uh, the dimensions are 1920 pixels by 497. And I want to take that web as asset and make matching images for multiple social media channels. So to do that, you're going to use the artboard tool. And you can, you can hit add artboard over here on the right side. If you don't have that, you, there is also a artboard section right here, artboard tool, but I'm going to do it from here. You're going to hit plus sign and it's going to give you the same exact size. So from this artboard tool, you can choose it and it says artboard two and I'm going to name this IG for Instagram and I'm going to change the dimensions of the height and width to 1080 PX for each item and hit enter. Then I'm going to add another one. This is artboard three. I'm going to name this one Twitter and change the dimensions again. This time it's going to be 800 by 418. Hit enter. And for the last one, I'm going to do an Instagram story. Hitting the plus sign again naming the artboard story IG and those dimensions are 1080 by 1920. So you can move the artboards around by again choosing this artboard tool and clicking the artboard and moving it around. I'm going to zoom out by command minus. And now you can see the multiple artboards to work with. And from there, you would just start moving your items around and making them, adding them to the artboards. So I can, there's, there's a little gradient in the back here. I'm gonna add that, adjust the size. Add my little um, background art. Copy all of this, paste it over here on your IG story. And just keep editing until you get the look that you're going for. This is on the front, so I'm going to send it to the back by right clicking, arrange, send it back. Move this little item here, move that around, and then do it again for Twitter. And then I will add my little people and add some text. I'm not going to bore you with designing the whole thing, but I will get it to a point where it at least looks somewhat finished. So I'm holding down shift and selecting the people to, to select more than one at a time. So click, hold down shift, select whomever you want, hold down shift to keep dimensions, to increase, and I actually have a finished version over here. So we've got a bunch of different sizes here uh, in the text. And these are other, other sizes than what I did in the tutorial, but copying that text and moving it over here. And it just shows how easy it is to work across temp or, um, asset sizes and it looks like I've moved my people accidentally. So let's copy them and move them back over. And shrink. Super, super easy, just copy pasting and changing artboard sizes. And when you're finished, all you have to do is go to File, Export, 
and then export as and you're going to select use artboards and if you want to just do the range you you can do you know page or artboard one two three or four um, or you could just say all and since you named your artboards ahead of time it's going to include the name so if you if you see I've, I've already exported it so it says insta the post thumbnail twitter web asset so that last part is the name of the actual artboard that I've already named. So by hitting export, it automatically takes your file name and then adds your artboard name at the end and makes PNG. And that's it.